Good day, Ulukut, fellow Inuit of Nunatu Havut. I speak to you today on behalf of your governing council who just finished a meeting this weekend and as I leave for an Arctic Assembly conference in Iceland. The Nunatu Havut Community Council are so proud to represent such a strong people, a resilient people who has survived great adversity and challenge. We have done so by relying on the strength of our culture, by supporting one another, by caring for one another, and doing the hard work that has been necessary. But this week, we have found ourselves in a place of profound disappointment once again. Nunatu Havut has been facing another barrage of negative and false statements and allegations regarding our land claim and who we are as a people. Our profound disappointment is compounded as such false statements are coming from leadership within the Nazi government, another Inuit organization wherein we have many family ties, an Inu nation with whom we have been sharing some of these lands for many generations. While the false statements about who we are, about our families and communities are simply untrue, I know they can be deeply hurtful and can cause harm. We also know that this has nothing to do with identity, but is based on some false or manufactured fear. A fear that somebody or something will have something taken away or will be diminished if Nunatuhavut Inuit progress. This could not be further from the truth and the facts bear this out. And you, your Nunatuhavut government, remains undaunted. We have always known who we are, where we come from, who we come from, and that we matter. We come from Inuit. We are still living on the same lands and traveling the very same waters and ice routes of our ancestors. We harvest berries and fish, hunt seal and ducks, and when available, caribou in the same places as those who came before us. Our people still trap on the same trapping lines and grounds. We teach our young people these things and bury our people in the soil of places we know. We are Inuit. We are the rightful beneficiaries of the British Inuit Treaty of 1765, which recognized and affirmed our presence and connection to these places. We have won in the courts at every level, and we were very much looking forward to having our day in court this past week. We are confident in the facts, in the evidence, and in the law. We have relationships and agreements with both the provincial and federal governments, and there will be more to come, and with industry and other bodies that do recognize and respect our rights. We will focus on the work that we need to do that ensures that you, our people, are supported and are healthy. Like continuing to strengthen our Inuit governance, advancing the revitalization of our culture and language, and ensuring good housing for our families and that our people have healthy, sustainable food. We want to ensure the safety of those who take to the water and fish to make a living. And we are working to ensure that when resource development takes place on our territory, the consent of Nunatuhavut Inuit is sought and respected. We are addressing climate change. We are doing what is important so that our lands, waters, and ice are protected so that our young people and the next generations can stay connected to our traditional places and learn the ways of their people. This is important work, the work of building up families and unifying our communities. This is who we are as a rights-bearing people and as an Inuit governing body. And we do this work, the work of reconciliation, developing good relationships with all other levels of governance impacting our people. We try to foster good relationships with our Inuit brothers and sisters to the north, with the Inu who are our neighbors and with the Mi'kmaq on the island of Newfoundland. And we want to ad advance cooperative efforts and work on the betterment of all peoples across the Inuit homelands, across Labrador and beyond. I say to our people watching today, we hold our heads high 
We focus on the future and like never before, take pride in who we are. We, we, Nuna Tuavidinawit, we endure. And I am so looking forward to the great strides that we will make together. I am immensely proud of each of you. And I say thank you. Thank you, Nakamik, for the way in which you stand for yourself, your family, and your community, for your rights and for your people. You do so with respect, knowing the strength of our culture and our rich heritage. I am so looking forward to the work ahead, to speaking and being with many of you over the coming weeks and months as we continue to strengthen Nunatuhavod Inuit and our communities. Nakamik, Nakamitsuwak. <laughs>